Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be talking about central station monitoring and how it works. So with central station monitoring, essentially what that is, it's meaning that your panel, you know, any type of these uh, panels or any other panel, is connected to a central station for monitoring. Basically when the alarm goes off on the panel, it's sending out a signal to the central station, which are basically operators that are going to be receiving the signal. Uh, they'll act accordingly to the signal, either calling you to verify the alarm and make sure you're okay, or contacting the authorities if needed. Um, to get this set up, obviously you have to contact an alarm dealer, uh, some type of alarm monitoring company that can set you up with a central station. Not all companies use the same central station, so you'll have some that have their own, some that go and use a third party central station, uh, some are larger, some are smaller, it's all, di all types of different ones. Uh, for central station monitoring, usually there's a fee required with that, uh, either you know yearly, contract, monthly, no contract, whatever the alarm company you're working with, you know, how they set that up. Uh, pretty easy to actually get it set up. Not really much you'll have to do on your end. So for the system, if this is a do-it-yourself project, obviously you'll have to set up the system yourself, get the sensors programmed, and then contact the alarm company to get the system registered. Uh, they would ask for a couple things. If you have, you know, a Honeywell-type panel, they're going to ask for the MAC and the CRC codes from the panel. If you have say a two gig panel or a panel with a cell communicator, uh, they're gonna ask for the serial number for that, usually the ADC number if it's alarm.com. And then they'll use that information to register the system. Uh, they send that information over to Central Station as well. So essentially when your system goes off, it knows to send that signal directly to the specific location, being the Central Station. Now, once it gets to the Central Station, as mentioned, an operator will, see, uh, will receive the signal They'll see what's going on, so say if it's like a door alarm, your door's going off, uh, they'll pull up your information. Usually we will be sending a document to the central station saying how to react for certain alarms. So for example, let's say the front door, if that alarm goes off, I want the homeowner to be called first. So in that instance, the central station would call the homeowner, uh, basically verify the alarm, say hi, you know, we see that your front door alarm is going off, we're making sure that you're okay. If they don't receive any contact from the home, uh, homeowner, either if the, there's no answer for the phone calls, or if there is an answer but no response, or a duress code is given, which would be a secret, kind of like code word you would set up with the central station to let them know you are in distress. Uh, with that, the central station can contact the local authorities, have them go out to address the situation. Now, there are some instances, obviously, where false alarms happen. If you have that set up with the central station, sometimes it can uh, you know, go a little past what you would want it to be. Some counties, some cities are very strict with false alarms. Uh, some police stations will require that homeowners register the systems with them. Uh, usually what's called an alarm permit. Basically, that's just covering you, the homeowner, against any initial false alarm alerts. Usually those permits, they, they all differ, but usually they'll cover, you know, up to a certain amount of false alarms before they start finding you. Uh, we've seen some situations where police departments either fine the homeowner right away if they don't have a permit and the false alarm goes off, uh, or they just don't even go out. They don't dispatch. They'll get the call from Central Station. They'll check the information. If there's no permit on file, uh, it's very rare, but sometimes police just don't go out at all. So if you do set this up with a Central Station, just make sure that you do your research into the county, into the city, seeing if there's any permit requirements, anything like that, anything special you would have to do. Some counties even have requirements about like sirens, but that's besides the point. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much how Central Station works. It's it's fairly simple, um, you know, pretty straightforward. Signal goes to Central Station. They either call you or contact the uh, authorities, fire, medical police, anything like that. Uh, if you had any more questions or were interested in learning more about Central Station monitoring or even self-monitoring, check out our website, <clears throat> www.alarmgrid.com. And we do offer monitoring plans as well. And if you did like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we release more content. Thank you for watching and have a great day.